Hi there. Today we're talking about a book called Dress to Kill by Charlotte Madison. Now, um, she was an Apache pilot and she mentioned in the book Apache by Ed Macy. Uh, she was one of his squadron and uh, he praises her quite a lot in his book. Anyway, from an early age, she was interested in the military and um, joined the cadets and um, did um, some exercises with the Royal Engineers and uh, spent quite a bit of time in a tank, didn't like it. Um, and then decided to try to get into the Army Air Corps. Um, she went through the Sandhurst uh, process which she describes as being both physically and mentally grueling. She goes into quite a bit of detail what it's like uh, training at Sandhurst and so on. And only a select few um, are allowed to go forward into the Army Air Corps and uh, she makes the cut. Um, <clears throat> they train with the RAF on fixed wing aircraft first and then transition to rotary wing with, with uh, the helis and uh, eventually she is selected to uh, train on the Apache uh, and she goes into uh, quite a bit of detail on the capabilities of the Apache the difficulties in flying it it's such a complex weapon um, never mind fighting it uh, over enemy territory uh, I always found the Apache a fascinating aircraft. Um, at the Paris Air Show, I was working at the Paris Air Show in 1988. I was working for Boeing, but one of my good friends, Phil, was working for MacDac, McDonnell Douglas, who at the time made the Apache. They were, they were later taken over by Boeing. And we were given a walk around of, of it and um, shown the, uh, the helmet, that as you turn your head the the cannon swivels with it and so on and the the pilot really gave us a, a good tour of the aircraft we we didn't uh, uh fly in it or anything but showed the capabilities and the equipment it had and um, subsequently the um british army acquired them and um, thankfully so anyway so she um deploys to Afghanistan and um, she goes into quite a bit of detail about being the only uh, female pilot um, and really the only female on the squadron uh, in a men's world and you know how disgusting the shower block is and etc etc and it, it is interesting to get the female point of view um, now there's a lot of discussion about women in combat but there's no doubt at all that um, they can fly and they can fly um, um, war, war planes. So, um, as I say, it's, it's good to get that point of view. Uh, she um, goes into uh, the operations that they're doing. Um, there is one other female uh, who is an intelligence officer who uh, briefs them on on the um, on, on the battle picture and so on. Uh, she is also mentioned in Ed Macy's book and he, he draws a pretty good picture of her capabilities. Uh, she, she's really on the ball. Anyway, um, Charlotte uh, strikes up a, a friendship with her. She calls her Louise. And um, she uh, subsequently attends Louise's wedding where she marries a chap called Tom who's a Royal Marines officer. And then sometime later um, in Afghanistan, uh, Tom's deployed and Charlotte is escorting um, a Kazavak flight of a, a Chinook with a mare team aboard, you know, the, the, the um, medical emergency rescue team um, because there's four casualties uh, in, in a serious contact and um, it turns out two are seriously injured but two are uh, T1s, they're fatal and um, it turns out that one of them is, is Tom. He, he was a, a Royal Marines officer and uh, he died trying to protect his men. He, he, quite a heroic death, which is obviously devastating to both Charlotte and, and to, to her friend. 
Um, another um, famous incident was the Jugroon Fort, which again was described in Apache, and Ed Macy was one of the uh, two Apaches that landed at the fort to pick up um, the um, what they thought was wounded Marine. Uh, turned out he, he'd actually he'd been killed. Uh, but they were tremendously heroic and Ed Macy actually got out of the Apache to um, go to rescue the uh, chap. But um, cover was provided over a very extended period by uh, Charlotte in her Apache and her um, colleague in a, another aircraft to the point where they both went Winchester, which means they'd expended all their ammunition. So they have a tremendous load of uh, cannon, uh, 30 millimeter cannon, uh, rockets, including flechettes, which are, are uh, eight inch darts um, and uh, Hellfire missiles. And they had expended them all. I think it was the first time they'd actually done that. Uh, so it was a tremendous battle. Um, the Taliban, um, beside being um, murderous terrorists and um, trying to impose um, a, a terrible uh, regime on people they were very adept at fighting uh, that, that's got to be said and really if you look at it if it wasn't for the aviation assets um, we would have had a, a pretty close run thing that uh, we had total air supremacy and still it was hard they they knew how to fight and they developed their tactics and changed the tactics they used tunnels they they used cover that they, they um, ruthlessly used civilian cover uh, women and children and, and so on and um, they were they were hard to dislodge but um, she flies many many missions and um, they get a close-up view because of the the optics in the uh, Apache of what they're doing and, and, and she describes um, where they're after I think it was a, a team of four and they pick them up one by one as they're darting between cover and the snap shooting and one guy pops his head up and she shoots him in the face with a 30 millimeter cannon and she's got no remorse about this at all um, so she really is a gunfighter you can imagine the effect of a 30 mil round through, through, through your head. So, um, her second tour ends and her military career finishes. Uh, she's able then to settle down with uh, James, her, her partner, and um, uh, get a house together. And meantime, he goes off to war then because uh, he's in the military also. Um, but then book ends where she's facing a new career in some other field unrelated to um, shooting people in the face with cannon so uh, a terrific book uh, shows a unique aspect um, of, of the military from the, the uh, woman's point of view um, it, it's well written it's very very um, um, enlightening um, and it goes into um, sufficient detail in the technical and tactical um, as well as the human aspects and uh, it's a really good read.